great. Wonderful. I don't feel like that was timed up, though. <laughs> we should have worked on that. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> dry run, baby. <laughs> Oh yeah! Welcome back to the Dylan's Den. To my right, Frankie. To my left, Jeff. Is that weird to say? Very. Fellas, how in the hell are we doing this week? <laughs> that was a very quick fade out, but whatever. Let's get it rolling. Yeah, yeah that was like a cut off. Hey, it's all right. We're uh, for the first time, <sighs> boys. Video recording. I'm trying it. Yeah, test it out. We'll see. New equipment. It was overnighted from Japan. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fast and Furious reference. Uh, we had this conversation yeah. the other day <laughs> through Cause text. We, yeah, because we got a listener. shout out to Brazil. Shout out Brazil. 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 Yeah, we had uh, six listens in Brazil, so it. Uh, you know, yeah, we're, we're international. This is bro. It's got to be all the Fast and the Furious references. So, yeah, that was what our text chain was about. 100%. <laughs> we mentioned Fast and Furious once, and we get Brazil listeners. I'm like, I think we mentioned the Fast and Furious in every podcast. Pretty much. Uh, it well, somehow comes up. It's You know what it is? It's because of Jeff's want and need for a Supra. Well, I mean, it's just <laughs> a great American classic. Yeah. I watch the all. I watch the preview for Hobbs and Shaw again, and I'm just like, oh my god! You remember how corny, like how corny and awesome those old school movies were with like Schwarzenegger with like the one liners, stick yeah. around, yeah, yeah of course, off some steam, Bennett, and it's like I'm full circle. Now that whole movie is just full with one liners. It's fucking great. That's that's what all movies come to be though. You know what I mean? They all this, series. Yeah. Like they have like a shot, bring you know, the sun and moon and I mean, I can't believe you watch like the, the stuff. The mountains on and the rivers. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna start talking. Are you fucking quoting as yet right now? Is that the man? Yeah, as yeah, Jesus Christ. Right? I swear. Do you remember sitting out in Minnesota? The moon. Huh? Me and you like the old. Oh, bro. Like like the boys the Minnesota. Oh, yeah, that's right after the Bears game. Yes, that was a horrible game. But there I think they got uh, like 14 yards in the second half, so we just got fucking shit bag wasted. Wasted. And everything out there is you know, the, the name of this podcast should be shit bag. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. I'm not. I'm coming back from a cold, so I'm not shit oh, bag wasted. How you feeling? You need a back rub? My throat mm. gashed. Doctor said you need a back out of me? Nose, throat. throat. All these people. It's like 34 degrees today, and people are out there in shorts and shit still. This shit's crazy. I'm not ready Fucking for you. Fucking bastards. Dude, it's not that bad yet. <laughs> it's just windy as hell. Well, hard. crazy. Yeah, dude, it's it's cold. It's cold. It's windy. And then I think about it, and I'm like, it ain't even that cold yet. I know. <laughs> well, we went, it was the middle of fucking winter to Minnesota, and... <laughs> There was like 18 of us or some shit that went. We had a bunch of hotel rooms. We went to the game. Got fucking wasted. After the game, they had like the A-track system and everyone trolleys on a whatever it is, train thing. And we're waiting to go back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's a train. <laughs> whatever it is. Would it be a trim? A tr yeah, that's what it is. You know. Yeah, sure. I fucking drive that shit. I got, I got the 300. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I'm not a conductor. <laughs> So we <laughs> we're waiting outside this thing. They got like those cool, you know, heat lamps that, you know, give off a little bit of warmth. And there's a million people come out of this game. Are those things that give off heat? Yeah, they give you like uh, okay. you, you mean like off a, of the rays. You mean like, of, a, you mean like a space here? <laughs> yeah, a real big one in the middle of the street every like 25 feet. Mm -hmm. So everyone's like huddled up under them. And there's so many people. And... <laughs> Waiting for this fucking trolley, and me and Jeff, I don't know, we're being just shit bag wasted. We started like singing old folk to. Well, like, we were in, yeah, we were in fucking Minnesota at their on their turf, yeah, and the Bears all, just got their fucking ass kicked. They got their shit pushed. And I didn't feel like you know, I didn't want everyone on the train to be like, "Oh, Bears suck." <laughs> So I just started, you know, we started singing for everybody. You know, Bon Jovi. Dude, we, we had so many songs <laughs> under this thing where, where 
It started off, I think, with the shoe hit up, shoe up, shoe. And then he, I mean, I don't know. If no, you, it you want to lay some out. pipes? You want to lay some pipes no, real no, quick? They're not ready. For don't, it. don't be scared. Did it start out with ooh, da doo 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 doo? I think we, yeah, I think we saw that one too. We were taking requests. I mean, it got so fucking crazy. People were like saying, like you know, songs to sing, this and that. People were clapping. See, I wish and I was there. And, and, and then we uh, we sang that one song about um, your friend. Um, what what was his name? Tommy. Oh, oh, you want to say what? Oh, Tommy. You, wanna, you mean Tommy? Huh? Because Tommy you, that used to work on the docks. Yeah. What happened with him? You know, the union went on strike. He's down on his luck, man. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, whatever happened. I know it's 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 so tough. His girl, his girl Gina. Yeah, yeah. She works at the diner all day. All day. She's working for her man though. To yeah. Bring him her pay because love. For love. Ooh, love. Yeah. For love. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> she, you know she, she gets home and she says, Sweet you know, poet. we got to hold on to what we got. It does make a difference. <laughs> If we'll make it or not. Well, they had each other, right? Yeah. And that's a lot. For love. <laughs> they gave it a shot. Because, whoa. Know. They're halfway there. Whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa. They're li- they are living on a prayer. Ooh, man. I just had a flashback from saying, whoa. <laughs> you remember Joey Blossom? <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Blossom. Frankie might have. Uh, I, was, um, nah. I, I don't know, know what know the Blossom. average age of our listeners is. Cause <laughs> if it's like um, under, Blossom, between under 30. between twenty five and forty five, right in the wheelhouse. Right in the wheelhouse. We're we're uh, just how I like them. Mm. We're idiots. That's what we are. Let's be honest. I keep getting older, and they just keep staying the same age. Nope, they just all keep right, getting older right, with us. Right. Know, <laughs> more and more kids. <laughs> so many children. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, I forgot who, uh, sent it to me. They're like, Jessica Alba's on that list, huh? I go, yeah, young Jessica Alba. That's <laughs> Jesus. How dare you? No. I take She's Jessica Alba now, yeah. She is. She's a beautiful woman. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I just posted this today, actually. Remember the movie 40 Days and 40 Nights? What was his name? Josh Hartnett? Yeah. I, yep. I where tried he, that out one time. <laughs> Where he well, you lived that for like two years. <laughs> well, I was a year. I had a bad breakup, and I was like, "Fuck, oh. fuck chicks! I just want to dance." <laughs> so, the end of that movie, where he's chained to the bed, trying to make it the last, you know, oh, his no, last day, please. his last day, his yeah. his fortieth day, and his ex comes in and breaks the streak. She raped him. Rapes, it's called yeah. rape. She, she raped straight him. up raped him. Yes. And they just glassed over. If that was a movie about a chick doing that, her ex-boyfriend came in and... Oh, 100%. And, and dude, that's, Especially dude, now. That's dude, a, dude. She's me tooing him. He's going to prison. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's Cardi B. A, Cardi yes. B admitted oh that she used to drug guys and fucking take their money. Yeah, yeah everyone's like, oh. to come over and be a stripper, and then I oh, drug him oh, and rob him. Oh, Cardi. Well, she was honest. She was able to admit it. Yeah, so, so was, hey, so was Bill Cosby, and well, he's he doing he's 40 years. Right. I want to hear that story. <laughs> Which one? I want to tell-all book. Uh, the Bill Cosby uh, tell-all? Yeah. I feel oh, like so you, I'll put it in the pudding <laughs> pop. <and, laughs> <laughs> you'd want it in, like, a voice book, by, like, voiced by Bill Cosby. Who is was it? Uh, Derek Jeter, right? That used to give the, the best skit of goodies. <laughs> Yeah, the the the, the locks. Yeah, so people would come over. Well, ladies would the, come over, and he'd oh, show them a good time, and then he'd give them like, like a, an like autographed a, baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> need some bad money, honey? Well, no, it was that. like it was like a basket. He gave them like a. Here you go. You know when you go to like, like a plan, what is he got like, like a plan B? Closet, it's like just, a plan B in there, and a, yeah. Here, take this one first. <laughs> Well, what's funny? Well, think about like when he goes, when she goes home and say she was has a boyfriend or something. She goes, "Oh look, honey, I got you an autographed Derek Jeter baseball." Where the fuck did you get this? Oh my god! Oh, I'm such a big Yankee fan. I just ran. Oh, me too. Mm. What are the odds? What are the odds? Yeah, it's different how shit works out. Standards, man. Everything should be equal. I thought. (laughs) Is that what it's supposed to be? But, but I looked at that movie and was like, wow, they just like glorified man rape. Yeah. Well, he shouldn't have been a bitch and just gave it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, in all honesty, you want to talk about a girl that 
was smoking hot. That chick in that movie, I don't even know what her name is. Which one? The smoking brunette. hot one, bro. The no. brunette. The, I didn't think she was that hot. There was something about her. Maybe because she, she was like tan and exotic. Maybe. I don't know what nationality she is. I think she, yeah, I don't, maybe Armenian? Maybe. Maybe, maybe a little Armenian. I know she was like tan. I, I want to say, well, I don't want to say. She's kind of weird. Not weird looking, but <laughs> she was. <laughs> you just did say she's weird. I looking. did, but it wasn't in a bad way though. Oh, she was right. weird looking in a good way. You like, mean like the, I think the like, term you would want is she's exotic. She was like unique. In, she was like three movies, and then she was. See, gone. I don't go up to chicks and be like, "You're exotic looking." I'm like, you're weird looking in a good <laughs> in a good way. You're, you're weird looking <laughs> in the best way. way. <laughs> The best way possible, you're weird looking. Whenever you say something like that, no disrespect, but I'm about to disrespect you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little well, bit. You look really good, but like in a real weird way. Well, how do people, how do you do that nowadays? Dude, I've like tried it, and it does not work. I look at you like you're a you know fucking how, creep. You know how you pick up chips, you go on Tinder, it starts it just starts But if you, were to like, if you were to like, you did, there's a, you know. Beautiful girl at the bar. Yeah. You got confidence you go to go yeah. up and ask out. And, and then she's like, ew, you fucking creep. <laughs> like, right. what am I supposed to well, stalk well, your face? Right, and then you got to be a slide, dick and not. Slide in your DMs. Well, what, when did it become <laughs> weird to have human interaction with a person? I know. It's, it's, no one even talks on the phone anymore. I know. It's sad. I hate that. I hate. Just, I'm just like, just call me. Talk to me. Two minutes. Hey, man. Them people over. We're going to have well, a barbecue. Nothing gets like five. A text what? message. What's up? Ten and minutes later. Nothing. Yeah, and well, then you're like waiting. Like, well, you know about the tech circle. Is my, my the tech circle of my family. It's still on the computer every time Kayla's doing homework. Oh yeah, I well, I got cookies. Yeah, who's bringing the donuts? Who, I'm like, <laughs> you, you guys had the same conversation every week. I love you, I truly do. But if you you know what breakfast foods are. I Make a like list the week before. We've been having the same <laughs> conversations that, for 30 let's, years. <laughs> let's get into that, all right? Let's get it. Why is it, why is it breakfast food? Why can't I have cereal at 7 o'clock at night? You can. Why it's, can't I have eggs? Yeah, I know, but it's different. There's a, Some places have a breakfast menu. Um, you know what? You know what it is? This, this is, this is where I'm going to make my stand. There's, we, we don't have genders anymore. Oh, that line. We don't have genders anymore. That means we don't have fucking breakfast anymore. Breakfast is an all-day thing. All Lunch day. is an all-day thing. If I want a cheeseburger at way. 9 a.m., I'm getting a cheeseburger at 9 a.m. Yeah, it should be. That's right. You if I want a Why is shit off limits at certain times? If I want a breakfast pizza, a.k.a. just a pizza at breakfast time. Right. You should be able to. Exactly. In all honesty, your first meal of the day should be your best meal of the day, in my opinion personal opinion i like steak yeah i do nice steak little but some things are just weird when you eat later oatmeal if you're an oatmeal at 10 o'clock well, at night that, well you, you know why you know i do with the oatmeal <laughs> no. who has oatmeal late at night but that's but, weird. you know you know why though because oatmeal is a slow burn slow burn it's a, it's a heavy carb slow burning right carb yeah it's the very day. filling but i'm just yeah. saying no one really eats oatmeal after 10 a.m <laughs> Is there a rule? Do you turn into a gremlin? No, it's Maybe. just, it's not a, it's it's just, it, for some reason, oatmeal doesn't taste good at night. No. <laughs> you just feel weird eating. <laughs> you feel weird eating you feel, it at any time. You, I don't you like feel oatmeal, so, period. Actually, you, you don't feel like the, the brown no, sugar. No, the consistency of it is, I might as well just have baby food in my fucking mouth. What? It's mush. It's so good. It's oatmeal mush. is delicious. Sir. I love brown sugar. I'm out. Quaker oats. I'm not a picky eater. Maple but I'm and out. brown sugar. Delicious. <laughs> Maple and brown sugar. Delicious. I, and sometimes I like strawberries and cream. Sometimes I like the peaches and cream. Peaches sometimes and I like cream. apple cinnamon. Do, 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 do. Apple cinnamon. You fucking banger. Apple cinnamon too. Sean, you give me everything that I need. Peaches <laughs> and cream. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, Facebook's <laughs> fucking an asshole at times. Because I was reading it, and it was some of the shit that we... want. Some of our DJ shit pops up every now and then. Oh, hey, we're at <laughs> our oh, bar. God. We're at our bar. DJ in front of the video. The, the greatest video we've ever shot, I think, with the weird white college kids. Grinded at each other on the dance floor. Which one? The fuck? From our bar. So we were up in the DJ booth. In the sand pit? Yeah. That was... <laughs> what? In Inside? The, 
Hell yeah, bro. I don't want they sand in my sand shoes. all over the dance floor. Are you serious? And that yeah. shit was in places you couldn't imagine. <laughs> it, it there are so many weird. freaks out there. It got real weird. Mm-hmm. It was a good fucking time. We cleaned that it shit was. up. Not me. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> and, they're, and they're like, oh, please keep the sand on the dance floor. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Yeah, well, how, what am I keep supposed to do? Keep the sand at the beach, bitch. What am I supposed to do? Cut my feet off and levitate over the floor outside and put my feet back on? I brought I sand to the beach, Elia. Yeah. yeah, that was funny <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> As well, everyone it was knows, fucking yeah, great, though. J- I did, just I, a truck driver, and he gets the oh, total loads yeah. all day. Yeah, I just, I'm, my, <laughs> uh, more ways than one. Yeah, that's my maturity Jeez. level. <laughs> Dropping loads, Jeez. just drop loads all day. Every time I say it, I giggle. Just, <laughs> just drop the last load. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in. Oh <laughs> shit! I'm bringing her in. But I thought about it because it was it's fucking early as fuck. Beautiful sunrise. I drive down Beautiful. to the fucking Lake Michigan. The sun was just coming up. And I was like, no wonder people that live on the ocean are happier. I instantly got happy. I got excited. I was like, you know what? Today's going to be a good day. The waves were rolling in. <laughs> Water as far as you could see. The sun was rising. It was 70, beautiful 70 degrees fucking too. day. <laughs> and I'm just like, man, fucking people who live in like... California, Florida, they do this shit every day. It must be nice to walk out your back door and have your feet in the sand. It's nice and warm, and you could just mm. have a cup of coffee, go inside, take your morning shower. Because people out in paradise, you don't start working until, like, what, 10, 11? <laughs> when do you think those guys are rolling in? If they even do. You know what yeah, I'm you just well, live in paradise and don't have to work. Well, think about just time zones. We're at work for two hours before people in California are actually waking up. But there's different oceans, though. You know what I'm saying? Think about like it's the coast oceans. of Hawaii, that it's, ocean. It, it's still the same ocean as I want to go California. Hawaii. But think of like New York's <laughs> on the ocean. It's a, yeah. But Atlanta, you don't think Atlanta. about Atlanta. that as like a. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, we'll you want to wake up on that because it's cold as fuck. The Texas blowing is in. Out in the ocean. Texas yeah, but there's is just not in the ocean, sir. That would be on the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that connected to the ocean? It's connected huh? to the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Which goes out to the ocean. Eventually. Yeah, past Florida. <laughs> all right. It's like the chain of lakes. They're all fucking connected. Yeah, yeah but you're like not going to say, Michigan. hey, I'm on Lake Michigan and Superior. Do you think when they go out, when they live in Texas and go out to their beautiful beachfront property, they're like, God. Look at the ocean. Look at the way the, the gulf just comes into shore. Yes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They, they do if, you, if I lived on the fucking lake behind your house, I'd be walking outside to the open water being like, ah. Oh, Crack a beer. It's 7 a.m. I don't care. Hmm. Well, you are in the car business, so that kind of goes, <laughs> kind of yeah. goes with the territory. You drink it at work all day. They don't care. Yeah, what was it? You were telling me this. this uh, Hammer and White Claws. White Claws all day? All day. They don't give them the fucks. She give them that White Claw <laughs> clam at work? Bro. That's way, that way, when they get off of work, they already are primed and have a good buzz going. Then they could start their party in. See, I had a crazy conversation the other day with Malay. How crazy was it? It was <laughs> how crazy. It was, was just it? tell I just, me. I just had to explain this, and I she wasn't understanding, so I had to turn it into an analogy. So I said, I don't understand if I see a guy holding a white clock clan, uh, can. It's just it's a different vibe. What is what's going <laughs> through his head right now? He's holding a white clock. She's like, Yeah, but you drink fruity shit. You drink vodka and lemonade. Yeah, out of a glass. All right. So, this is the analogy I came up with. This vodka and lemonade is gay, right? It's a gay drink, but I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Now, holding a white claw in your hand, this is gay. The white claw in your hand <laughs> is basically a guy with a tutu on and rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is gay, but this is even gayer. Man, I can't wait to get flagged by the LGBTQ <laughs> for this podcast. Right? I'm just saying. There's the, levels of gayness. Right. It's, it's and you know what? It's not gay. It's effeminine. Let's get it right. What? It's effeminine, meaning that feminine. 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 Has a feminine quality. Feminine. Not a gay quality because yeah, no, it just doesn't look right. Because there's right. Are, what are you holding? What is that? It's it's like it's like it's like watching an anorexic holding a steak sandwich. 
Yes. Yeah, so like whatever I was things. drinking before I was drinking the White Claw, I would have poured yeah. into that. Whether it's a Starbucks cup or a fucking Big Gulp. But there's levels like, okay, gay guys, big. there's big, burly bears. You'd never know. Mm-hmm. And then there's guys who are like, that are, party! That are on a... How's it go? <laughs> <laughs> that are on a pen, a 10 level. Oh, yeah. There's listen. There's there's Turns, Elton John. Turns. There's Elton John, and then there's Rock Hudson. Elton John is that only high know who level oh, yeah. those people high are. level. And then Rock Hudson was that you know 1950s actor, suit tied. Oh, 100. percent All I mean, ladies that's, that's loved him. Everything how you put out your persona, like, like you have vibe. Like when you go out. Well, that's what I'm you saying. Go to the with gym. The, but that's what I'm saying. Like the, the, the like the gay dudes, they're super flashy, right? Like, ultra out the closet. And then you know what else I think is fucking gay. These big bodybuilders that are going to the gym and they're like, I gotta have these new Beats by Dre to match my socks. Mm. Now I'm gonna have my my <laughs> Apple Watch on. Once again, and, not gay, effeminate. Right, but can't I'm, call it gay. You can't say gay anymore. Yeah, I can. To me, it means lame. <laughs> All words I know, are made there's up. There's levels to this shit. There's slang to everything. I, I, words. I understand you're not on social media, sir. Oh. Yeah, you're not hip to it. No, and I'm not saying I'm not words. saying not being hip about it. It's, you have to watch what you say now because you will trigger people. I'm looking directly in the camera. Trigger people because that word has lost all fucking meaning. Because every oh my god, it's well, the outside. I, I'm triggered. I, I need to go to my face. I didn't think that gay was a bad word to say. I thought you can't say like faggot, which the dictionary means a bundle of sticks or like a cigarette back in the day. Uh, it, well, do they still call it? Fact, it like, hey, give no. me a fact. Like, once again, we're we're in America, but all we words don't... are made up, is what I'm saying. So, like, I, so someone... you're trying to take it back, is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my hoodie right now. Uh, taking it back because it means happy, right? Yeah, I'm super happy. Why did it go from? Of course, they're look at them. They're happy as fuck. Right, they're, they're free. Yeah. They're being be you. Be happy with who you are. Exactly, That's what I'm saying, though. But what like, I'm saying is, we're we're a podcast for the people. We're not throwing hate speech out there. Well, 100, percent we're not. I yeah, love no, everybody. Yeah, I'm just talking. Yeah, like, That's what I'm yeah, saying. Though, is like, it's people, like you said, get triggered. No, and I know, say but someone could li- someone could listen to it and be like, "Oh, these guys are they'll cut homophobes. it off. They'll cut it off right where you said gay. And be like, oh, they're bashing the gay community. Yeah, they're right. no, not at all. Yeah, we're we're not. not. That's what I mean. And those you, people are, they overreact to It is stuff. crazy, though, how, sh- how stuff changed. Because, yeah. like, if someone had some bogus, ass, like, that's the thing now. Like, someone will point to someone's shoes and say, what are those? Back in my day, I'd be like, those shoes are gay. Right. <laughs> You're wearing fucking Walmarts It or had nothing to do with someone's sexuality. But this is the same thing that you, you were literally just talking about, Sean, saying 40-year-old virgin. The dude gets raped and no one. No, 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 40 days and 40 Yeah, nights. that's the one. That guy. The other movie with 40 in it. <laughs> Not a lot. You can't get it from views, really. There's only it's two. a 50 50 chance I was going to get it. It's it's a double standard. But exactly. And I thought the big thing, whatever about words and this and that, was being equal and everyone, you know what I mean, treating each other the same. But like, like you said, from Cardi B, drugging guys and robbing them, and it's okay because she was open about it. To a guy that says something about you know, or being raped in a movie and no, it's no one would flash an eye. And I get it. That's a movie and it's fictional and this and that. But there is those standards. You see those pictures where dudes pass out and there's four naked chicks on them rubbing their body all over on there. And it's, it's a funny picture. But you see four dudes with a chick. That's fucking disgusting. Those guys are fucking animals. Oh, yeah. Did you see the video? And it's stereotyping. <laughs> I just realized this. Did you see the video from the frat house where the girls are going to take the shots? They went into the fridge and got chocolate milk and, they're, and the fucking dude flips out. <laughs> He's like, you don't just go in someone's house and drink chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. That's right. There's boundaries. But, but you're, you're having a house party, man. Relax. Would you write your name? This is Cliff's chocolate milk. Don't drink. Jesus. Maybe. Maybe you should got a mini fridge for your room. How Cliff. many people those stand there at that fridge and it says, Tony's don't touch. And you're like, fuck Tony. Fuck Tony. Yeah, I'll like see the, that motherfucker. Like the fridge at work. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're like, your stomach's telling Everybody lunch is fair game in the mm-hmm. fridge at work. She won't know. 
Do you know what I would do? I would bring, I would bring a lunch, put my name on it, and I would totally fuck with it. Leave it My there. own lunch, I would put like XLX chocolate <laughs> inside like a Hershey's container. And then you can't And get then in if trouble. someone steals my shit, guess what? Oh, you got shit? Get. Yeah, oh, you that's got the what shits? you keep, motherfucker. What you so then I know, like, yeah. when someone keeps going to the bathroom, they'll fucking shit their brains out. I know who's eating my chocolate. That was chocolate. you. Mm -hmm. You. You've been eating my fucking Hershey's bars, you You're, you're just making, making Axe <laughs> brownies? Well, like, people get in trouble because they bring those in, like, oh, I'm going to bring brownies in for everyone. I'm going to make weed brownies. That is a federal, you, you are drugging people. Like without their acknowledgement or consent, oh. not cool. <laughs> Speed up, did you yeah, did true. you hear about Ari Shafir? I don't yeah, know that is either. And Bert Kreischer. But yeah, he slipped them. He Molly. dosed. <laughs> he dosed Bert Kreischer with Molly. No fucking <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. At his house, with his, his kids house are all from, stop and his it. wife. Right before he was getting on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a friend. That's a friend. Yeah, it, it caused a it caused a bit of a stir, man. They uh they weren't happy about that. I I would imagine. I almost well, I'd feel be like oh, about it. like how you guys said like I don't care social media this and that, but some of the stuff I feel it's so fucking played out, and you're just like yeah. Well, the problem is the reality is that there's evil people. Right. Those words don't really mean anything, but people that are evil and don't give a fuck and just hate everybody. Yeah. Use they them use them right. in a negative way, so, so then you can't use them anymore. Right. It's the uh, political, the political outrage in our country right now, it's crazy because it used to be you can't even use a frog anymore. I don't know what that means. Pepe the frog, yeah, he's a Nazi. He's a Nazi. <laughs> like what? He's a Nazi. There's what? you know, there's also you know, there's a frog meme, and everyone's been using it. Like in political memes and shit. Uh -huh. So now that frog is you a Nazi. can't use the OK symbol anymore. No. Yeah, it, 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 that's, it means what power. I mean. to, to who? Which, to you? No. Not which, to by me. the way, to any white suppressed, any whatever, you guys are wrong. Period. End of discussion. And that's you're knows. fucking wrong. Well, I don't even care. People are fucking people. Right. But that's everyone's view on stuff, just because they feel, I really don't care. I don't think I have to believe it and think they're right. But you know what? I no. don't have to care and make it a big deal. Like like the whole thing, how people put this stuff, like I said, that they the old reactors, where they hear someone say a word and get triggered, and then it's a big deal. And this someone makes an okay symbol, and they're like, oh, my God, this person did. No. No, you just made it and, and blew it up out of proportion. Like I said, this guy getting slipped, Molly, well, you have guy, no idea that it could have been the same. Like, let me ask you, let's do this, and then it'll get all big publicity, and it'll be funny. I'll act like I'm mad, and be, it's like a serious thing. Don't do this. But we'll, well get so the thing people. is, too, are they really that mad? Or are they just trying to be part of their group and stir some shit up? Right, because and get everyone they're, they're on their team. Well, right, they're come on a team. Guys, that has a, a view that they're pushing on people. Some which guy is right. at the Cubs game did the okay thing or something. Yeah. Right, he's banned, he's banned for banned life. From Wrigley That's for life. ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Like, all right, you said that one because he because he did the okay thing behind a behind Harold Reynolds, who was a black reporter. Yeah. That one YouTuber, you said, look at this guy. He makes these crazy videos, this and that. All that stuff looks to me is fake. Leave last one to leave their hand on a car gets a Mr. Mr. Car. Mr. Mr. Beast. Beast. He, right. I, I guess he just got exposed, didn't he? The what? I don't know, but his friends are weak as fuck. If They're someone soft. was to give me twenty thousand dollars to not leave the circle, <laughs> dude. Last one to leave I'm the circle a nap. loses. I'm sleeping in that I don't circle. Care. These videos I will are ten minute videos. For days. Right, and these guys are like, there. I'm out. They're like, calling why? their dad. Oh, dad, oh, we're gonna go. Dad, like, dude, twenty grand. I've been in for five hours, and I don't know if I can make he needs it. Needs to get some better friends. Yeah, and some like a commitment. In all honesty. That's just the softness. Of the That's generation. what I'm saying, though. Is but that to me, it's fake because realistically, I'm not. When they did this back in the 80s and 90s, it lasted like a month where people didn't even think about it anymore. Just four dudes fucking sleeping in a car in the mall still can't fucking leave. It's for like a fucking Focus or some bullshit, yeah. not a Lamborghini. It's you know what it is. It's tax write-offs for him, and I do get it. He does some cool things for the community, like retweet this. I'll give somebody. But well, like, well, I mean, when he went and bought an entire grocery store worth of food and gave it to a food bank, awesome. That was awesome. awesome. I'm sure, he does cool shit, but, but it's like his. But no, but I'm we're sorry, talking bottom about, line is his friends are weak. We're yeah. talking about if, <laughs> if you're gonna give me a fucking Tesla, I ain't, uh, I'll piss and shit myself right. and make it 
so uncomfortable for everybody like else you guys are my car. best friends i'd straight up walk up and kick you in the balls and then you were like dude what the fuck i'd be like i just got a tesla i i, I just yeah. slap the Except, shit out of you and i know you're mad i'm sorry but you can go take my lamborghini for a ride bro feel better well, about it that was uh dave dobrik did you see that one where he gave his buddy who is a whose favorite car is a lamborghini aventador the new one that yeah, just yeah. came out and dobrik did a uh an ad for need for speed so they gave him a lamborghini aventador through the ad must be nice he doesn't want the fuck car so what does he do he gives it to his best friend and the reaction yeah. is a genuine reaction that i would oh, love to i would love to have on your guys' face one day all right if i if, if i showed question, up with, you win the lottery uh, yes sir you're buying you're buying each of us a car right yeah what car you buying jeff well, you know what he's getting yeah he's getting a super how uh, is it <laughs> <laughs> what about the, that super right there <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> what, what about the new corvette though you want the new corvette don't no, you? no 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 he wants the fucking super he's getting a super what about the lamborghini did you take it over the lamborghini I don't know, man. See? I don't see. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not buying a Lamborghini if I'm the lottery. The new Corvette's pretty dope though. I I will buy a I, I will buy a price. Corvette because I know I can fit in a Corvette. This, <laughs> but the thing I say like so like you said that genuine reaction to someone that's just very, very just grateful and thankful to some other person to be that considerate to him. Now, oh. like can you imagine though, like if you got Jeff like a Lamborghini? And you're like, oh, I didn't want to spend forty grand on a fucking or eighty grand on a Supra. I bought you a two hundred fifty dollar Lamborghini. Oh, because and I, he was like, well, fuck, I really wanted a Supra. You know what I mean? Or you got you a Supra, what, and you're, you're like, you got Lamborghini money. I always wanted a Lamborghini. But it's like Je you won great for a lot. But Jeff's not that kind of guy. I know, but I'm saying there's people in the I world. In the, 80s, the dude bro. that the dude that you yeah, were if, talking if about. If I gave him a Lamborghini Countach, <laughs> oh yeah, Countach. I had the Countach on my wall, then the Diablo. Bro, yeah, you, you bought me like I'd be back in high school and got me a Dio Metro five speed three cylinder. I do like that thing's fucking awesome. Ten bucks, I'll be driving for two months. In all honesty, if I win the lottery, you guys don't have to worry about working anymore. <laughs> oh, dude. We would do crazy shit, like keep your hand on Lamborghini. for our listeners, they'd, we'd be doing more podcasts if oh, we didn't yeah. have to work. <laughs> we, in, all, in all honesty, if we didn't have to work, we'd probably be doing three a week. I think oh, an man. hour an hour is a good week. That's probably all yeah. everyone can handle. But all the stupid shit. But we would also know. have the hour sports one. Oh, God. We'd be doing some shit all day. One. We'd have a movie one. I love watching So movies. I had an idea. So next week... Movie? Go ahead. What are your idea? Well, it's like a game that I was thinking that we should try, and we should watch a movie, and it's like it's like a, we can score. And so yeah, you watch <laughs> no. like Fast and Furious, right? <laughs> yes. And, no. and we would we would point out everything that like doesn't make sense, like you know what I mean, <laughs> like just a simple little shit, like you know, hey, he just grabbed that Corona from him, and well, like in like in Gremlins, full. like in Gremlins, where you can't get him wet, but yet they're walking through the fucking snow the entire movie. Yeah, that's, that's water, guys. <laughs> you can't feed after midnight. <laughs> right. It's not midnight where they're from. It's right, like, midnight you know, in China zone. or midnight so if you in Russia. Something out like that, then that's a point for you, and Who's the other midnight? two have to drink. We'd be hammered by the end fast I and think, furious. <laughs> I thought this would be fun. And then I thought I started thinking Jeff watches dumb videos on all the problems with movies. He would be like, yeah, this yeah. one. That's this. How what do we do today? I, I figured one out. You're like, oh, what about this? And I was like, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, Doc Brown. When there be blood. When he got yeah, shot. I like, yeah, see, time travel movies are tricky. You know? When did it take place? But he didn't go well, back technically, yet. technically... But well, he got shot. Yes, he didn't go back. And there was time travel. So technically, he did go back. Before <laughs> the first shooting happened, he already went back. But he didn't even go yet. If that makes <laughs> fucking sense. But that's how it works. He didn't. Look at Terminator, okay? John Connor is Kyle Reese's son. Okay, right, right. Right? Well, he was fucking. So John Connor is the savior of fucking. He beat Skynet. Savior of humanity. He is the son of Sarah Connor. He's Kyle Reese's son. Well, Kyle Reese got sent back in time by John Connor and then fucked his mom. And that's how Kyle. Re that's how yeah, John that Connor was it born. It couldn't happen like that. It doesn't that. make any sense. <laughs> you, you, it, how it, is it John can't Connor can't born? Like right. That. So time travel movies are fucked up. <laughs> There's no logic. That would be Anything a drink for me and John and a point for you. Yes. Well, I see. The problem is, I so agree drink, with that. I, I agree with that statement because <laughs> it's it just. Like, in all honesty, I, we were watching. I was made Jeff watch. So we can't do time travel movies because yeah. the whole the logic is out the fucking window. Time cop. Yes. 
Oh, Ta- God. Time God. cop, we would be hammered by the first 15 minutes of the movie. That's what I mean. It would be fun. I think we should do that. Just videotape us getting fucking wasted. It's not the videotape anymore. You know how old you sound saying videotape? It's record, sir. Um, it's so, video record. We don't have videotape anymore. And I'm the youngest one here. You should be the most social media savvy. I fucking hate it. That's still, savvy. have been born that's, in like the 50s. That still means you're old. The youngest one in this room. You're yeah, still yeah, old. he's still old as fuck. <laughs> you know what? It's got to be I'm fun to say, though. forever young, right? <laughs> Being, Easy, Kanye. I hate when you guys bring listen, me back to reality. Please, listen, being slow doesn't mean you're forever young. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it yeah, bro, I got the same fucking... <laughs> just means you're stupid. Same IQ and knowledge of high school. I'm still in that mindset. So I'm, in my head, I'm only 18. So you guys don't have kids yet, so you don't have any perspective of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yeah. be honest. With, like, I, I mean, time went by super slow when I was single. It and then when you so have a kid right now, dude. and you have to celebrate birthdays with your child and you're like holy fuck she's five already yeah that means five years went by and you're like God hey, damn it, where it's fucking old. Well, what yeah, did i fuck? do again that's why i fucking hate facebook when it shows you your memories because there was a yeah five years ago today the day after like, the oh, day God. after the when i went and saw bell for the first time in the house i remember it like it was yesterday oh yeah Going up a fucking es- uh, the elevator know, and then dude, you're like that was like a couple years no no that was five guys, years half a decade yeah. Half a decade now. I'm just going to call all you right. guys the Lost Boys. Just stay young forever, all right? Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Are you kidding? I fucking feel it every day, my dude. <laughs> we all do, I'm but walk- we got to push dude. through, you know? Dude, okay, so Zach is 12 years younger than me, so he's going to be 29 this year. Your younger brother? Yeah. People don't know who Zach is. You yeah. can't just say bullshit like that. They, I, I've <laughs> announced. Explained, I mean, no, I know. Bro, bro roll, blue chew. Blue chew, yeah. <laughs> Kickstand it, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's weird thinking that you know next year you're gonna be thirty. Yeah, it's oh. crazy. Nineteen ninety, he was born. Bro. No, this year, he, yeah, next year he turns thirty. This year he turns, yeah. Uh, well, you got math. You can math. Well, no, I can December math. end of the year. <laughs> I can math. I can math. I can. I don't know. I'm good with numbers. I Fuck can't off. Math. I'm good with Thank numbers. The I can't read, but I'm Thank good with numbers. Thank heaven for my fucking fingers. <laughs> Dude, One, how, two, about, <laughs> how about that common core math now? That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my uh, life. What? Why you got to make it difficult? The common, way they teach math in com, school It's now, called common like, core math. Dude, it's it is, fucked up. You, It'd take you half an hour okay. to do 8 plus fucking so, 7. Yeah, 8 plus 7. Or no, it, we'll do a double number because it's... Double? It was like 32 <laughs> times 4. So instead of just doing thirty-two times for the normal way you would do it, you make a box. Well, start over. Like when you start like trying to teach me something, I kind of just space out for a second. I'm listening now. I'm focused. Okay. It, you got to make a box. You got to put thirty-two here. You put four here. It's it like turns into geometry. I hated when you had like okay. Show your work. There's a question. You had to show you, like <laughs> no. I could just do you it. Didn't in show heaven. your work. Like I, I, this is right, right? Yeah, it's correct, but. You didn't show you. I need to show my work. Right. That is fucking correct. <laughs> my head just processed what it, that yeah. number exactly. is. I got and it. it's right. Nailed I, it. Nailed it. I think I should get an A for this class. I'm out. That's why I never showed up. I was like, I already know it. How dare you. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, things have changed. A <laughs> little bit. A little bit. Like... For the better in some stuff, but... Some stuff, not some. How, the thing that blows my mind about, is phones, more technology that went to space. I, that I can't, I can't grasp. How, there was a picture of like a room full of shit. There was like records, boom boxes, telephone, all the shit. And it was like, what if I told you in 20 years this would all fit in your pocket? <laughs> right. Can you imagine that? <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Fucking, oh Even if you were to take your phone back to time travel and go to 1980 and be like, all of this shit will be in your pocket. They'd be like, no fucking way. Well, here, think about this. Have you ever noticed now when people write like $50, they put the dollar sign behind instead of in front? Never. Never. No. People someone sent someone Ooh. sent me, I'm, I'm not saying names, I don't want them to feel like a fucking idiot. Well, maybe they wrote, maybe they wrote the numbers and they're like, oh, oh, I forgot the dollar sign. So they just 
lazily put it at the end. Don't be lazy. No, Come on. I see it a lot now. It's because I think shorthand, because you text, you know, LOL and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So instead of writing, instead of just writing the price, they'll do $59 sign and mean $59. Yeah. It pisses me off to know. You know who those people are? Idiots. Assholes. It, yeah. It legitimately, it pisses me off because it's like, that's not right. You're, that's not the way you do it. Right. Dollar sign and then the amount, bitch. Do not. Yeah, but there's stupid people out there. You can't get upset. Don't let it get. There's a lot of things I do that's stupid. Yeah, breathe. One of them. One of them. <laughs> I gotta remind myself too. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, "Are you breathing?" It's you when you eat. It's like Jesus Christ, bro. Take a breath. <laughs> what do you, you need? One of those forks that like vibrates. You know, you like take a bite and you have to like set it down. Yeah, because 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 uh, you just keep shoveling. What do you mean you could eat more in a sh- if you shovel it in your mouth? It takes 15 minutes for your brain, your stomach to tell your brain that right. You're full. So if you eat slower, I'll eat you won't less. Eat as much. But yes. I like food. I am no, I am down 20 pounds because I was sick for the last week. But mm. you know, that's well, cool. Semen too. Well, that helps, <laughs> dude. That protein. I'm telling these ladies dude, all the time. Pump. Switch the dudes up. He was only time. down ten pounds, so he's seen the doctor. He's like, dude, can you like pump this? Yeah, it's like a solid brick. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My stomach just doesn't adjust. You know. No. Jeff, uh, Jeff's plateaued in the weight loss challenge because you can he, only lose five because pounds. He sits in a truck all day. Yeah, I used to be. I went down 20 Basically, pounds on in my six feet weeks. Lifting shit all day. My sweats feel huge, but they're nice and comfy. I don't know. You keep standing with your gut out like that. Uh, people are gonna. People are gonna. You know what I am? Weight loss. You know what I am? I'm comfortable. That's what you got to be with yourself. Oh, yeah. and by the way, listeners, now that you'll be able to see this, he does wear his sunglasses inside at all fucking times. And we will have a video up shortly on YouTube. I'm going to shave the bat symbol and abs into his chest there. We, and, and Jeff will also teach you how to make a 50-50. Yeah, we're going to learn right here. We're going to do a mixology with Jeff. Yeah. And see if you guys survive. <laughs> but we, Take caution, we, ladies uh, and gentlemen. We drink uh, Wisconsin. Yes. Very. Except for me right now, I've been uh, sober for the last month because of uh, the weight loss challenge. Well, that's good. This is my. Uh, I'm going to start years. taking it serious next week, so you guys are fucked. Oh, really? I was going to take it serious two weeks after the competition. So instead, of, instead of vodka and, and uh, Rockstar. Yeah, it's going meal. Yeah, water vodka, meal. Vodka, water meal. Ooh. It's the vodka and water and Rockstar. It's just going to straight vodka. Huh? Yeah. That he straw right well, out of the bottle. the ice cubes, water. <laughs> on the box. No, he just puts the bottle, bottle of vodka in the freezer. I was dying I when I ordered it. I should just dump Mio into the vodka bottle. What we really there need is, go. Fucking day. What right. really need is another, another shipment of Dixon Savage. Cider. We need another shipment of Dixon Cider. Yeah, yeah, we do. You got to get on the horn, Butch. We went through those Dicks, those hard right. Dixon Cider very quick. Well, we'll have to fucking... Bait him out real quick. Those huge dicks inside her. I think he's got another ad coming soon. Ooh, he's I, been having some legal trouble. trouble yeah, with, with the, the strip club. The underground brothels. <laughs> legal in and some states. The raid on Area 51 kind of fucked him too. Right? There was so many wheels and, you know. Yeah. It, and can not, I say wheels? You can say weirdos. All right. Weirdos are all right. <laughs> weirdos isn't a true <laughs> word, I don't think. You never know nowadays, apparently. I'm it's, not. I'm not... Hip. Yeah. So, hip hop? Hip hop anonymous? I wanted, I wanted to say what I was uh, grateful for besides you two beautiful life. sons of bitches. <laughs> what are you grateful life. for? I'm grateful for the guys that came before us doing the podcasts that inspired us to do podcasts. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm grateful for them to pave the way, but you know what? I feel like we used to talk about this. All the time, we should just record the stupid shit. Of us just hanging out. Well, that's It'd be the fucking thing. hilarious like, to listen there's probably, to. Probably, there's probably people listening to this bullshit, no, and they're, they're like, going, "Fucking idiots!" A hundred percent. We pro- could do that. Well, they probably I'm wanted, like, this. dude, just fucking do it. Right, do it. Dude, that's We've what, been talking about doing a podcast for how fucking four long? years. Yeah, mm. and then we're like, we got drunk at the bar one night and said, "Fuck it, let's do it." I ordered the shit that night. I, I, I mean, for the most part, you had it all. Well, I needed. There was one piece I needed. 
What the fuck was that? Uh, some kind you of... Can't uh, hear, you can't hear it on podcast. Owls so. having sex? Huh? No. Um, so, yeah, I just ordered the little box that I <laughs> That's need. Sean's Fitbit watch. No, it, it was a... Tiger blood at 1,000% capacity. It was a bleacher report telling me that Notre Dame beat the shit out of whoever they were playing or lost. I wasn't paying attention. Your phone should have you that. Like, great job, Sean. You've read 500 steps. Oh, shout out to... Bitch, I fuck like 20,000 a day. <laughs> I know, I'm a shout out to our uh, Brazil listeners because uh, we're watching... Uh, UFC right now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Gene, Gene. Gracie's going tonight, right? Yeah, Bra- Cron- Cron- Gracie is fighting Cub uh, Swanson, which Cub, Mike Qu- Cub Swanson, he is a nice dude. Very nice dude. Congratulations to him, Henda Perez. The gentleman of the kids. week is, uh, what's his name? No, it's not Cub Swanson. It's not the gentleman of the week. <laughs> uh, you said he was a real gentleman. He, he, right? He's a very nice dude. Actually, every person I've met has been, every fighter I have ever met has been a very nice person. Jeff could attest. We met Boss Rutten. We met King Mo. We met Dan Henderson. Up, bang, 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 the Strike Force bang. days. Strike Force days. It was. They were. We met Big Black. Big Rest Black. In peace. Yeah. Rest in peace, Big Black. We like every fighter I've met, and in all honesty, every pro wrestler I've met have all been down to earth, cool people. Well, that's the thing. And, you know, we like we said, we're inspired by podcasts. We listen to Joe Rogan and shit. Joe Rogan's one of and them. And he says this all the time. It's it's so true. Like, you take someone who has a, ne- you know, as a kid, negative attitude, and you think, like, let's get him into fighting. You would think that it's totally opposite negative. You don't want to give a Embrace fucking, it, but... yeah, guy who's a fucking dickhead and wants to beat everyone's ass the tools to beat everyone's ass. But honestly, it calms the fuck out of you. Dude, I know when you get humbled, and, yeah, you get humbled as fuck. I know a guy that works just a regular warehouse job. He loves his job. He's a nice ass fucking dude, big monster. You know him, and he goes to a place and he's like, "I just beat the shit out of people after work, and it's just satisfying." And it's just, it's, um, after I get home, I'm is just, this something you're not supposed to talk about? Oh, uh, isn't it the first it, day in second row? <laughs> 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 Movie <laughs> reference. <laughs> No, but oh, fuck. like you're saying, like Jeff and I are we're religious Rogan listeners. <laughs> Jeff can listen to podcasts. You also listen to uh, who's your other guy that you were in on all the time for a podcast? Yeah, oh, Joey I'm Joey Diaz. The church, what's happening now? Uh, myself, I uh, the Pat McAfee Show 2.0 and Heartland Radio, phenomenal. Uh, I'll Hilarious. still be ESPN 1000P1 forever. I love because my sports. See, that's why I, I love movies is my jam. So I listen to, uh, God, what is it called? We Hate Movies. Yeah. That's oh. a fucking good. And it's got the. For guys who love movies, go check out We Hate Two of hate the guys movies. from the league. Um, Pocket Dogs. What's his name? <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's not. Rafi. Rafi. Rafi, yeah. Rafi I kind of love that uh, show. So the good. show of the league. And then. Uh, Who's it, Andre? Yeah, from, from, the rich yeah, guy. And his wife. Okay. We hate movies. Check I'll have it to out. check that out. That's yeah. fucking good. Uh, they just watch shitty movies <laughs> and yeah. talk about it. It's like my wheelhouse, my dream. I love, though, that when you could, you know, just relate to the people and stuff in the conversations. Those are the ones that really grab me and stuff like that. Like, you might hear something, listen to a bunch of bullshit for like an hour that you don't relate to, but then they'll have a conversation that you really can. Well, so it's it's difficult with those two because like if I haven't seen the movie, I probably won't right. get it. So I'll just yeah. like scroll through and I'm like, oh fuck, they're doing Street Fighter with Jean Claude Van Damme. Right. Oh, so I great. listen to that Rough. one and it's so fucking good. You know, well not the movie, but the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast about the movie. Yeah. Oh. That movie had one of the greatest scenes of all time, though. When they fucking, they were like in some kind of fucking tent, and Jean Claude Van Damme, like they had some bomb on some truck. Yeah. And so he like starts rolling the truck towards their tent, and there's like a TV in the tent, like showing it, like the truck rolling to him. Right. And the guy who plays Lattimore in the program. Yes. <laughs> they're all watching the TV. Who, who like, put Zangief in the yes, movie? Yes, yes. So this is happening live, and they're watching it on the TV, and he's like, quick, change the channel. <laughs> Like changing the channel is going to prevent yeah, what was about to happen. <laughs> I was fucking dying. That's, that's real life, man. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I was fucking died. checked, dude. It's just like putting the water in the cooler so it's just cold. <sighs> yeah. 
You know another rest in peace. You ever seen Rich Piana? You ever watch his videos on YouTube? This guy. Oh, the the dude that was snorting lines of a uh, of a uh, pro po- or not protein or pre workout. But see, there's anorexia and there's what is the body you know, dysmorphia. body dysmorphia, bigorexia or whatever. Body like, dysmorphia. You can never. Be, this guy was one of those guys who can never be big enough. And I bring it up because the guy who played. Lattimore in the program. Yeah, that's. He actually beat him in like a Mr. California contest or something when they were teenagers. So he just started like juicing and shit. Oh yeah, he was taking this this all was the supplements. Huge, all of them. Yeah, he had heart attack. Happy, though. He went to Mexico and they're like, "What do you want?" Here. He's like, "Everything you got." <laughs> so he take it off. Uh, they went into his house and they found him, and there was a powdered substance on the table, and they're like, "Oh, it's definitely coke." No, he was sorting lines of pre-workout. <laughs> like this was barging pre-workout. Uh, Google uh, Google Rick Biana. He had some motivating shit because a lot of these bodybuilders, you see them in the magazine, and they're like unnatural. There's no fucking no way. No fucking way. It's not. You can't possible. be that. You can't be that vascular. In that, and in don't get natural. me wrong. Even though you take steroids, you have to put in the work. It's yeah. fucking right. Even that you can't just take steroids and not work out. But yeah, you're you get be so juiced you need to take that that energy and put into something, and they move weights around. But this Christ. dude was a fucking freak, dude. If I hope that you, Huge. I hope you guys can hear the bass thumping on, from the kids. Yeah, right that's back just and the music. Nah, it's mm-hmm. bumping. We partying over here. So we do it. Yeah. Yeah, Rich P. Yeah, that dude. He he was super motivational. He and he was honest because, yeah. like I said, all the other guys are like, "I'm natural. I don't take nothing." It's like bullshit. He would tell you, "I took this. I took that. This right. is how you get this." This, and it's just cool because like it was a real dude. Like that's why I'd, when I was like super into working out and shit, I would watch his videos because it was just like inspirational. Like this podcast is for you? a lot of people. Yeah. You know, it's very inspirational to people. And, and also, I, <laughs> and, and speaking of... Pound sign goals. <laughs> speaking of more gratitude, I wanted to shout out uh, our boy BJ Raniac for his two movies, The Rocket and Blame. Those Did Blame get, come out yet? Blame is getting released soon in The Rocket, so I, I hope him a lot of success. I want to shout out our boy Johnny Highland, our boy Bobby Sarnowski, and our boy... Uh, Mike Schmalfelt with their company Pro Star Sports. That's they do uh, camps for young kids with like Melvin Gordon and Sam Decker and big things. And you know, and I want to shout out my brother with EarthBuddyPet.com. Uh-huh. Pay it forward, man. CBD, CBD for your pets. Hey, they get a little tweak out. You know what I mean? A little, little bit to calm you. The wasn't Mike? Sh- I, wasn't Mike Schmalfeld in like a DraftKings commercial or something? Yes, he was. He for won fantasy he, baseball. He, he won a a grip of money for uh, Holla. playing fancy baseball. We Gambling. we always I always make fun of him about it because he had long ass hair back then. <laughs> God damn American yeah, dream. Yeah, he, he had Krusty the Clown hair going, or the sideshow Bob hair going. I seen him like doing push-ups on a surfboard or something. He's a trainer. He's a beast. Like, bro. Well, if you got all that money from gambling shit, you just work no, out all day. No, he... I can't even do a push-up on the carpet right now. <laughs> this guy's out there. How many cock push-ups? I can't. I can't this guy's doing planks I, on a surfboard. I can't even eat a push-up right now. <laughs> can't I really want to go surfing. A so push I want to try it. I want to try it so bad. <laughs> you want to try surfing? Yeah, dude. I what wanna... about sharks? See, that's my only thing. I know it freaks me the fuck up, but I think it's exciting. I think it'd be like, that's what I want to do. I want to try that. Like, I I want to go to, like, obviously, a place that's beautiful, like Hawaii or something like that. But I, for the most part... Doing doing surfing stuff like I could think it would be the greatest thing. I love snowboarding. And that's totally different, but <laughs> surfing. You know what's awesome about snowboarding? What? No sharks. <laughs> 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 I don't have to worry about a goddamn thing. Yeah, you know. you know what else? But do you think you know that's the rush? The rush you, you get? You don't have to worry about drowning either. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big thing. There's a lot of danger going into that. I mean, ice. ice what is, kind of man does it take when you see like a forty foot fucking wave? Oh my! I want to ride Do you it. Remember the name Dude, of that, that movie? Crazy. Yeah. Where they what point, point break? break? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it it's was, a wave of the century. It, it was on, the, one based on uh, based on a true story where a kid wanted to surf the big ass waves, 
ended up passing away free diving. He actually drowned. Uh-huh. God, that some, was a good movie. Some of the best movies. Like, you guys want to skydive, man. Surf's up. <laughs> I want to sky- in, bro. No oh. sharks up there. No yet. sharks. <laughs> yeah, I might slam it with seagull or something. Anything, <laughs> anything without sharks, I'm down. Oh, oh man. I don't know. Sharknado. Sharknado. That's good. Yeah. Oh, you guys Jesus watch out. Christ! Hurricane season. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'll would, be extra careful. I would totally. Be I'm going to bring my uh, Batman shark shark repellent spray. You know, they sell that shit, though, right? There is a real thing, like a shark repellent. I guarantee it don't work. If anything, it Wasn't probably... Wasn't it made like dead sharks or something? <laughs> it's made with dead sharks. Yeah, dead it's meat. It smells like dead I, meat. I I'm heard, coming to take a bite. Dude, I'm an avid shark week. All right, Watcher. So mm. I'm basically a uh, fucking marine biologist. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> agreed. Certified. But there's something about, like, if a shark dies in the water, like, there's not another right. shark in sight for miles. Because, like, I don't know if they, like, sense it. Like, this shark got fucked up. I ain't going nowhere near there. Yeah, something I mean, weird like that. You know, so, the, like, I don't know. There must be something. I don't know. Shark sugar. Shark sugar. That would be <laughs> when you shit yourself in the ocean. And speaking of shitting themselves, that brings us to the end of this podcast. I've got to shit. No, I don't. <laughs> but for Frankie, for Jeff. Feeling it. Keep it up more. Go. Mm-mm-mm. Goodbye. <laughs> Love it. Once again, we're all going to hell. But think about all the awesome stories you have to tell. Thanks again. It's been great. Later. Woo. I don't know why I was holding my breath at the end.